Hello and welcome to another five minute fix video, a series of short videos from the Counselling and Mental Health Service. This video is about being kind to yourself and it's presented by myself, Anna and my colleague Sarah and we are wellbeing officers from the Counselling and Mental Health team. In this presentation today, we aim to discuss focusing on what we can control and accepting uncertainty. We'll talk about how to manage worry about upcoming or recent results and any changes you've experienced to your studies and how to manage anxiety about social communication online, particularly if it's feeling overwhelming at the moment. We'll also offer some general advice about improving or maintaining your well-being. As humans, we like to be in control of our lives. It makes perfect sense. When events are out of our control, particularly in the current times, the loss of control can understandably make us feel worried or anxious and also hinder our ability to deal with uncertainty. When you notice yourself becoming overwhelmed with thoughts around aspects of your life that are out of your control currently, try shifting your focus. This is easier said than done as ruminating on these anxious thoughts is one way we think we're staying in control of them. We do it to keep them in check, go over lots of scenarios so we can feel in control of them all should one happen. It feels like damage control if we look over all the negative outcomes that we can then we can be ready. However, by going over and over repetitive and familiar anxious thoughts or scenarios, we are actually stoking our own anxiety up and sustaining it. For the majority of students, there have been huge changes to the way they are taught and assessed. Change can be difficult to manage in the best of circumstances and in the current times, it may be even harder to come to terms with new ways of learning and studying. You may be more anxious about your studies and results as a consequence of this, and this is a completely normal reaction. However, we never can be fully certain of anything in life, and it's helpful to accept this, as we can then let go of looking for ways to make things certain. This gives us a degree of control. So how can we best manage this? In unpredictable times, looking too far into the future can make us feel anxious and not in control of our lives. Instead, try focusing on the near or immediate future, such as your plans for today, tomorrow or the week. This immediate or near time is likely to be less unpredictable and therefore plans will be more likely to go ahead. In line with focusing now, on the now or near future, set yourself a goal a day, something nice, possibly not study related, that you hope to do. It could be as simple as sitting in the garden with a book or walking to the local park and back or making a certain favourite dish or dinner. Having realistic and nice goals that you can still achieve despite the unpredictable times will help you feel in control of the now and near time. When you think of things that you aren't in control of, Try to remember the aspects of it that will still bring you joy. For example, it is hugely disappointing to have an important or exciting event cancelled. But if it's been postponed, then think of the fun you will have when it does arrive. There's a link here to an information sheet from the Centre for Clinical Interventions website on accepting uncertainty. As we've been progressing through lockdown, many forms of our social communication have moved online. So perhaps you're getting more messages than usual, as those you would see face to face move to messages. Perhaps you're getting lots of video call requests or quiz invites or socially distanced walk requests and it all feels a little bit much. There are a number of strategies for managing this, so it may be helpful to think about ways to protect your energy levels while remaining connected. You may wish to send a holding message to let people know you've heard from them and appreciated it and that you'll respond when you are able. You might want to block some time off away from social media and take a short holiday from communication online. You may be surprised how much this lifts your mood. And if you don't fancy taking part in quizzes, for example, you might want to suggest an alternative activity that the whole group will enjoy. So let's look at some activities that may improve your well-being. Do you remember a hobby that you used to enjoy? Can you revisit this? Take opportunities to go outside whenever you can. Exercise can improve our physical and mental health and there are proven benefits to being in nature. If you are looking for opportunities for further learning, you might want to check out anything your department is offering on Moodle or see which other online short courses are freely available. 
Try to maintain connection with friends and family in ways that you find comfortable. Perhaps set up a weekly online meeting where you can connect with people who live further away. It's okay to take breaks from this if you find it too much. If you are able, can you volunteer either online or in person? You might also want to give your full attention to friends and family and be focused on this while you are doing it. And practice being present for yourself too. This might mean attending meditation sessions, taking time to breathe deeply, or using one of our five minute fix videos. And there's a link on the next slide. We hope you found this useful and you may find it helpful to check out some of the resources below, which include a more in-depth booklet on accepting uncertainty, worksheets and workbooks about general anxiety and worry management, and the worry tree technique from Get Self Help, which helps us to distinguish between practical worries and hypothetical worries and to take some action. Further short videos are also available on our website.